Good morning. For today's video, we are going to discuss how to reduce fractions or reducing fractions. In reducing fraction, use any of the methods in finding the greatest common factor or GCF to be able to express fractions to their lowest terms. You can use the listing method, prime factorization method, or the continuous division method. Before we start, let's review how to get or find the greatest common factor or GCF. Let's play. Find the greatest common factor or GCF of 12 and 15. Your time starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is 3. If your answer is 3, then you are correct. Congratulations. Number 2. Find the greatest common factor or GCF of 16 and 24. Your time starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is 8. If your answer is 8, then you got it right. Congratulations. And last, find the greatest common factor or GCF of 18, 24, and 30. Your time starts now.
time is up. The correct answer is 6. If your answer is 6, then you are correct. Congratulations! Now, what are the steps in reducing fractions? Number one, write the prime factorization of both numerator and denominator. Number two, cancel the common prime factors. Number three, write the prime factors which are not cancelled for the numerator and for the denominator. Number four, if there is more than one prime factors left for the numerator or denominator, multiply them. For example, we have 3, 6. Step number 1, write the prime factorization of both numerator and denominator. So the prime factors of 3 is 3. And the prime factors of 6 is 3 times 2. Step number 2. Cancel the common prime factors. In this case, the common prime factors of 3, 6 is 3. In short, the greatest common factor of 3, 6 is 3. Note, if all the numbers in the numerator or denominator are cancelled, it will be replaced by 1. Step number 3. Write the prime factors which are not cancelled for the numerator and for the denominator. So the answer is 1 half. In short, the lowest term for 3 6 is 1 half. Example number two, we have six ninths. Step number one, write the prime factorization of both numerator and denominator. So what are the prime factors of six? So we have two times three. And for nine, we have three times 3. Step number 2. Cancel the common prime factors. In this case, the common prime factors of 6 ninths is 3. In short, the GCF or greatest common factor is 3. Step number 3. Write the prime factors which are not cancelled for the numerator and for the denominator. So the answer is two thirds. In short, the lowest term for six ninths is two thirds. Next example, we have eight tenths. Step number one, write the prime factorization of both numerator and denominator. So the prime factors for 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. And for 10, we have 2 times 5. Step number two, cancel the common prime factors. 
the common prime factors of 8 tenths is 2. In short, their greatest common factor or GCF is 2. Step number 3. Write the prime factors which are not cancelled for the numerator and for the denominator. So for 8, we have 2 and 2 or 2 times 2. And for 10, we have 5. Step number 4. If there is more than one prime factors left for the numerator or denominator, multiply them. In this case, we have two prime factors left for the numerator. So 2 times 2. And for the denominator, we only have one prime factor and that is 5. So the answer is 4 fifths. 2 times 2 will give us 4 and then copy the denominator 5. In short, the lowest term for 8 tenths is 4 fifths. Always remember, in reducing fraction, use any of the methods in finding the GCF to be able to express fraction to their lowest terms. You may use the listing method, prime factorization method, or continuous division method. Here are the steps in reducing fractions. Step 1. Write the prime factorization of both numerator and denominator. Step 2. Cancel the common prime factors. Step 3. Write the prime factors which are not cancelled for the numerator and for the denominator. And last, if there is more than one prime factors left for the numerator or denominator, multiply them. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye!